yo yo people welcome back to runs tech hub and i'm going to show you quickly how to connect your zim matrix for the very first time to your android device this should work in exactly the same way for your pc or if you're using an ios device or mac os device as well but i only have android devices so i'm going to show that method i'm going to go to play store i'm going to type zim matrix now this is on my pc but i'm going to jump over to my phone quickly as well this is the app you want to install. For some of you guys, you should also be able to install this directly from your laptop onto your tablet or your mobile phone as well. Here I am on my mobile phone. I'm going to go to my Play Store quickly. My icon is the bottom right hand corner of my screen. I want to tap on that. Then I'm going to simply type in the search bar Zim Matrix. So as you can see, it's the first icon that comes up for me. The first search that comes up for me. I'm going to simply tap on it. Well, you can type it in as well. It's exactly the same thing. So if I go back and I go back and I type S -I X I M M A T R I X Zim space matrix, it comes up. I can choose where I want to install this. I have multiple devices. So I'm going to choose only this device. Click install. And that's going to take about a minute or so. It shouldn't take too long. It's a very small file, only 31 megabytes. So depending on your internet speed, that should be finished. There we go. I'm going to click open but i'm also my zim matrix is not plugged into my console right now i'm going to simply plug it back into my laptop just so i can show you guys how to connect it so i'm going to plug it in do not press and hold down the button this time this time you just want to plug the usb cable into your laptop mine's plugged in my lights have come on mine's a flashing light it's changing colors that's perfectly fine that's what i want i'm going to tap open on the app now, once i get in here I'm going to tap continue. I'm going to just click accept. I'm going to click download because there's a download size there. Probably just some new games that needed to be downloaded. Click OK. And it says allow Zim Matrix Manager to find, connect, and determine relative position of nearby devices. I'm going to click allow. And it tells me that if this is the first time I'm connecting, I need to press the button on the Zim Matrix. So again, the Zim matrix only has one button. So go ahead and press that button. Now you should not need to hold it down. So press and release. It's going to start flashing and that should connect. There we go. I'm connected. Done. That's it. So all I need to do now is actually go in and create a new config for whatever console or whatever game I'm playing. But that this setup process was so easy. And I want to thank the guys over at um, Zim Matrix or Zim for making this so stupid easy. It doesn't take anything to get this right. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully that was useful and good luck.